pa pa da pa. Hello, Hopkinton High School, and welcome to episode 74 of HHS Today. I'm Cameron August. And I'm Anang Kumar, and you are not on the wrong channel. This week, members of the middle school TV club, HMS TV, are producing the show for you, and we've been really busy. That's right. Today, we'll bring you lots of great stuff. We're going to look at one of your classes and review the HHS lunch, as well as produce some favorite segments that both our schools share. Like Minute of the Principal and Question of the Day. Who doesn't like Question of the Day? We're also bringing over a special edition of one of our favorite segments, Fun Fact Friday. And we'll take a look at what's happening after school and check out the Happy Healers Club. That sounds like a huge show, so let's get it rolling. Recently, a special education teaching assistant here at HHS, Miss Yumina, noticed a student using a cool H cam pen, lanyard, and flashlight combo. Like this one here. So she contacted HHS TV to see how to try and get one, and you get to see her try to win one. Thanks for coming on today for a game we're calling. You may know all about Miss Umina, but, we, but what do you know all about Umina Beach? Now we're going to ask you three questions about Umina Beach, Australia. Get mm -hmm. two of them right, and you win our fabulous prize. Are you ready? All right, I'm ready. What does Umina mean? A, it's from an Australian word meaning place of sleep, B. British explorer Lord Oliver Albley died of fever. His crew named the beach after their ship, the HMS Umina. C. An Airbnb host wanted to make their apartment sound more exclusive, so she invited she invented the name. I think I'm going to go with that Australian word. Correct. Okay, good. <laughs> Second question is, when was European entry to the region first recorded? A. No one entered this, the area until 1962 because it didn't look very interesting. B. When an explorer vessel became stuck on an iceberg and drifted south. C. In March 1788, Governor Arthur Philip landed with a party. I think I'm going to go with C. It sounds more official. You got two right. Last question. Which is a true TripAdvisor view from the Umina Beach area? A. Bits of the building will literally come away in your hands, leaving you clutching a shard of sharpened wood or metal. Or is it B. We shared a nachos and we've never had such a weird nachos. Or is it C. We found the sand was not like the sand in the brochure. I'm gonna go with C. You're incorrect. Oh no! Congrats, you got two answers right. You win a flashlight landing <laughs> combo. Congratulations, Miss Yumina. Next up, it's Minute with the Principal. Today, Mr. Keller. You mean Mr. Bishop? Right. Today, Mr. Bishop gets a visit from Ananya. So, how did it go? It was a lot of fun, and I just had a few questions for him. Welcome to the principal's office. Thanks, Mr. Bishop, and thanks for your time. My pleasure. What are we doing today? Well, you know, I have a few questions to ask, you know, from middle school's perspective. First, do high school students have a choice of class that they can take? They do. Our course selection process starts in March, and there are courses that they have to take, and then there are courses that there are elective options. All right, next. Is study hall at the high school, like the study hall at the middle school? So the study halls at the high school uh, typically take place in the cafeteria. Some of them are in classrooms. Um, most of the study halls take place when you're an upperclassman, uh, but sometimes you have study halls when you're a freshman or sophomore. Um, next, do you guys have therapy pets? And if so, what kind? We do, we have Lombardi. It's a, a, a black lab. Ananya, do you know what's going on here? I'm sorry, those are my dream captions. I'll turn them off for the last question. What are some pieces of advice that you give to your students to relieve stress? So yes, we talk a lot about relieving stress with our students. It's been a focus of ours here at the high school for the last number of years. Uh, we call it social emotional learning. Um, and we've done a lot here at the high school from homework free weekends and vacations um, to talking about updating our schedule to create some more downtime for students during the day. Uh, but it's an area that we focus on and we encourage our students to find a healthy balance. Thanks for your time, Mr. Bishop. I look forward to coming to HHS. It was my pleasure. I look forward to seeing you here in the hallways in a few years. <laughs> Thank you. Very nice, but dream captions? Hey, when you got it, you got it. All right, cool. Now let's show my segment. I produced the question of the day, which is, what's your favorite middle school memory? Would you really expect anything else, you know, from us? What's your favorite memory from middle school? 
Um, probably the musicals. The musicals were a lot of fun, and I kept doing them throughout high school. Uh, you guys should too. My middle school science teacher exploding things in front of us. Probably all the friendships that I made. The, the New, New York, York trip. trip! My favorite memory was probably when I got to learn about Pompeii. I know that sounds really dorky, but... <laughs> In seventh grade, in Miss Kirschenbaum's class, when we did like an animal hunt around the school, that was pretty cool. My favorite memory from middle school would probably be when we attended the Washington D.C. trip over April vacation. We got to hang out with all our friends for a week in a hotel and walk around D.C. My favorite middle school memory just may be producing HHS Today, or is that too meta? It's too something, Cameron. Let's move on before we get off script. But we're reading the script. Whoa. No, we're not doing this. Our next segment is by Lorelai Dublin, who stopped by a high school digital art class. Let's see what she found. Hello, Ms. Janino. Thank you for letting us into your classroom. So what are some of the goals that you think this class has? For students to experience art making through a technological lens. One of my favorite pieces that I've made in this class is um, a self-portrait that I drew a while ago. Um, it took me a while to make and I actually submitted it for the Scholastic Art Awards. I scan different pieces of uh, jerseys and then you put in Photoshop and like copy them and change the colors around. The thing in the middle is a uh, hockey jersey and it's the strings at the front of it. I scanned a bunch of my track numbers because I run track and I put a lot of saturation in the colors so that they're bright and colorful and I added little designs. That's almost like a self-portrait because it's all of your track numbers. I made a self-portrait on the iPads using Sketches Pro. I did it from a picture. I did it from a picture and it was kind of difficult to adjust to the online drawing platform, but it actually got easier over time and it was a really fun project. So I scanned in a few yellow things to put in, a, in the triptych and I just arrange them in interesting ways. Is yellow your favorite color? Yellow is my favorite color because no one else likes yellow and I think it's underutilized and underappreciated. That was awesome. I love that work. You know, I might be an amazing artist someday. I already think you're amazing. Thanks, Ananya. So are you. <laughs> and you know who else is amazing? Nice transition there, by the way. The Happy Hillers Club. That's who. I stopped by to see what they were up to. I'm at room 218 here to interview the Happy Hillers Club. Do you think this club is fun? Oh, yeah. It's awesome. I love it. What do you do at this club? Um, we promote uh, positivity. We interact a lot with... Um, communities outside of Hopkins High School. So like last year we volunteered at the Senior Center and we had an event where we danced with the seniors and enjoyed an ice cream social with them and it was a lot of fun. When do you meet and how do you join? Um, so we meet roughly once a month. We usually uh, coordinate with everyone else to figure out a day that works best for everybody. So it can change. It's typically like Wednesdays or Thursdays, but it can change depending. And to sign up, or join, just talk to any of us or email any of us. Love that. They're really amazing. That was filmed on Wednesday, a day Lorelai walked around to see what was going on after school this week. So, Ananya, who has more going on after school, HMS or HHS? If you think I'm going to start that debate, no. They both got great clubs. True. Lots of clubs for fun and helping others. So, are we done here? Close. But we got our high school one from you segment. Which was delicious. No spoilers. Roll the clip. Hi, I'm Sema. Lorelai and I came from the middle school to check out how it, high, the high school's lunch is. Um, the moment I walked in, um, I figured out it's much more bigger space, um, a lot more people, 
Um, the tables are different. They're not really connected. So I found that maybe the lunchroom isn't as filled up as it usually is sometimes in the middle school. Kids can't find seats, but here there are plenty of open seats because kids can go out and they can sit in um, different spaces. They don't have to be in the lunchroom. Not really as loud. So I got a salad because I'm a salad girl. I also got a salad. It's really good. The dressing is really nice. The greens, they taste really good. They don't taste like a weird. Um, the cucumbers are nice. And there's ice cream, but it's hidden. So out of 10, I give the high school lunch about an eight. Um, I did see people I know. Um, the food is actually really good. I actually really enjoyed it. I give it a 9.5 because the lunch is really good. The lunch ladies are really nice. And they have a really good selection. Now I'm hungry, Cameron. That was predictable. I might have said something else. Like? Like our final segment today is a favorite from our show. It's called Fun Fact Friday. Oh yes, we get emails every week it's not on. Lots of emails. Produced by Mr. Rockwood, he taped a special segment just for this show. We hope you enjoy. Good morning and welcome to the first edition of Fun Fact Friday here at Hopkinton High. It's phenomenal to be with you here today in 2020. Did you know that on this day in history in 49 BC, Julius Caesar defied the Roman Senate and crossed the extremely shallow Rubicon River, which was a border, natural border between Rome and Gaul, where Caesar was a governor. Caesar crossed this river with an army signaling the start of a civil war, which would lead ultimately to his appointment as Roman dictator for life. Caesar knew exactly what he was doing, and today when someone crosses the Rubicon, or is said to cross the Rubicon, it means that she or he has taken a decisive and irrevocable step. Also on this day in history, we had another group, well actually, their vinyl cross the pond, that's right, cross the Atlantic, and on this day in history in 1964, introducing the Beatles, the Beatles' very first album, made its way across the Atlantic and was released here in the United States by VJ Records. Lastly, I just want to say that when a bystander becomes an upstander and intervenes, bullying stops within 10 seconds, 57% of the time. That's it for today, folks. Make it a great day. Be kind to one another. Take that crucial step and be an upstander and read a great book this weekend. Everybody loves that segment, and even though this is a crazy long show, the script is three pages long, we like to end with, have you seen this? This is a picture from somewhere in Hopkinton High School. Have you seen this? Send us an email with its location, and from all the correct responses, we'll pick a random winner for one of these candy-filled water cups. That's what we give away to, at HMS. We actually have green ones as well. Because orange and green. But it's hard to show the green ones, see? Can we lose the green screen for a minute, please? Ah, there it is. And that brings us to the end. You have a great school here at HHS, and we had a great time producing this episode for you. Agreed. Everyone was so nice, and we had so much fun. Stop by our, I mean your website, for more HHS Today. And feel free to stop by our website, HMS Today, to see what we're up to. Like, we're like pen pals, or sister cities, or... Have a great day, everyone. Now get out there and study hard. Our school share. Like minute with the oh. That's yeah. Oh. From, from the top. From the top. Okay. Like the top top. The top top. The top top. Tippity top. top. Uh. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. I said something. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. All right. <laughs>